Okay, let's see. All right, there we go. Mm. All right, what's good, man? Let this thing pop late. Sorry about my earlier uh, live. My dang phone died, so I'm trying it up right now as we speak, trying to get it together. But um, as you can see, man, where y'all at? I'm sitting here with my man Dirk, man. We're going to let him lay coming. <laughs> man, this is the first time I ever did this, homie. Yeah. Man. I don't go live because I got too many people who probably throw rocks at the screen and shit. <laughs> That's that fucker. That's him right there. <laughs> man, our boy. The most black on man. there. What up with it, black? Hey, man, I'm coming to get you. I got the 88. Greg, my girl star. Uh, <laughs> my man Greg on there. You know what I'm saying? Knockout. That's what I call him. Knockout. Willie Jordan. So All that's right. how that shit work. People yeah. just pop up oh, on man, there. They tell you what, what, what he got to say. Willie Jordan. What he got to say. What I got to say? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot to say, <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> no, but I'm sitting here, man, with my man Dirk Choppers, man. Um... And uh, we just rode to Sunset. I wish y'all could have saw it, but my phone died. So, but we out here, man. We gonna sit on the patio, man. Sit out here with these white folks, hobnob and snob. You feel what I'm saying? Get us something to eat, get us some grub on. But in the meantime, I just wanted to talk to him, man. One of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is the history of the set. I mean, for for the most part, most people in on on the, on the East Coast where we're from, the only thing they know about is uh, chosen few and rare breed. Yeah. So, how, how many clubs are there in LA? Man, be honest, it's a bunch of clubs popping up every day. But the the ones that been around fifty plus, you got the DOs, the DTs, the few, the Choppers, and um, the Dragons. Yeah. And even back up north, like the Drifters, where Black okay. and them are from. With the it's a bunch of clubs running out here fifty years or plus, man. And as they got older, some of the clubs got younger, but a lot of older clubs stayed old and kind of almost it died kind of off. Faded kind out, of yeah. faded out, man. Trying to so, keep that old heritage. Yeah, see, yeah. You, you know the old school cats around here. There's a lot of the old school cats. Are this young old school. You don't see them in a lot of tennis shoes. You see them in Stacy's, Ropers. They try to keep that tradition, but as the shit get older, you got brothers in tennis shoes, and, and nothing so wrong with the, it. What's the tradition of the Ropers and the Stacy's? Where did that come from? The Ropers, they came from, really, it came from the late... The 860, early 7, part of the L.A. gangbang and shit, homie. Okay. Back in the day, all the gangs were high-top nylons and stasis and okay. ropers. It was just a look. And then as some of our older cats got into these motorcycle clubs, that look kind of kept going. Yeah. That's just like real breed, man. Back Ooh. in the day, a lot of out of the original OG, that's where they stay in the Stacey's and Ropers, you know okay. what I mean? But as you get younger, you know, them Stacey's and Ropers go to tennis shoes, you know okay. what I mean? And, and a lot of cats want to match their bikes, match their shirts and tennis shoes. <laughs> I, I ain't with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, when, with seeing the tradition, with seeing the, the, the tradition change, oh, it changed, are, are, you with, are you with the... Well, it being positive because the young cats brought a lot of new shit to the game, and then the older cats adapted to the new shit we did. You know, back in like in 2000, 2001, uh, like rest in peace, Duke and Big Luck and all them, okay. they start putting the twenty ones on the bike. Okay. Man, they thought them cats, even cats in the club, thought them dudes was crazy. So, what do you think they got it from? They, 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 Man. What I'm saying is the LA style. The LA style. I tell people all the time. One of the things about the LA motorcycle set is it helped it kinda helped calm down mm -hmm. the gangbanger. Yeah. And then you just you just mentioned the reference and the relations to the ropers and the stations coming from that era coming into the motorcycle set. So when you say uh, Big Lucky then brought the twenty one, was that something that LA discovered or did they did they see it somewhere no, else? No, you know what, man, be honest, punch, luck, duke, uh cat named Stroker. A lot of them dudes, man, when they got in it, man, they, they brought a whole nother element to the game and people look like, nah, I don't see that happening. Yeah. But it, 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 start, it, it grew in the club because, like I said, we used to go up north in 2001 and two. All the cats up there was on white walls and spokes. Okay. And then when we got up in the 21s and the seats and the Corbin, they looked and then they started adapting to it. And then as time went on, man, uh, shit, man, they start, instead of regular paint, they start going to these high budget areas. They used to paint the, uh, the race boats. Okay. You know, we start going to rock and roll. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and push the envelope, and people sat back and watched. And then they start putting their twist on this. They start putting their twist on our twist. Until the point they just took it away from us. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see a, a flake. I seen in Harley Davidson a real flaked up bike. I mean, just holding, holding. Scrib, what up, Scrib? Scrib a dribble on there, DK. Hey, what's up with it, man? <laughs> <laughs> but I seen Kibo and uh, and Black from in the breed had them 
them, them big ass flake bikes. Okay. And all of a sudden, they ain't Harley Davidson there. You okay. know what I mean? So, well, no, we, we, I mean, it is evident that Harley Davidson been adapting the style of the urban culture. If I'm gonna say urban, of the blacks yeah. or whatever you want to call it. They've they been adapting. That. Yeah, they they've they been stealing. They've been stealing and charge you extra for your <laughs> shit. <laughs> Everybody say they've been stealing, but one of the things too is that is that you gotta understand this. A lot of the stuff we did. We didn't even realize we were pioneers and inventors and yeah. creators. Yeah. We just did it on some fly shit. Yeah, not knowing real that talk. it would be where it is today. You know, and you know, we used to go to Loft and Man and Punch and all them. We all pulled up and, and we weren't even in the bike show. People come across the street looking like, damn, who are these dudes right yeah. here, man? Who are these dudes? Yeah. looking like, you know, and, and, and as they looking, they got their big pen, they got their pen. They writing it down, like, yeah, yeah. You know, so the game has changed, man. But it changed for the good, though, man. So, so let's talk about let's talk about the generational gap, the attitude, and the mindset of the individuals. How you like? I mean, as far as on the set now, what do you think? Right now, man, it's it's full of man, it, it, it's full of high testosterone, man. It's everybody want to be the man, but don't want to pay the dudes to be the man. I, they want they want to anoint themselves, and it's and, and it's impossible. On the south, you probably can. You're not taking nothing away from nobody, but on the west, it's totally different, man. Either the torch is gonna get passed, or you, you gonna learn. You just ain't gonna. DK say you can't address him in spirit. It's DK to you. Oh, with DK? Yeah. Man, check this out, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> you still my man's in them, no? <laughs> yeah. So what, what, what you were saying as far as the testosterone? Yeah, man. Because it's like now that people going bigger and farther, and, and, and some people can't keep up. So you know what, man? It's like. Each, each day I hear somebody trying to outdo the next person, you know? mm-hmm. and, and and it's good competition. Yeah. You know what I mean? But some of the people don't want to be part of that competition. Try to filter in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and they, the outsider try to get in, and you know they, sometimes they get offended. Okay. You know what I mean? And sometimes you gotta have thick skin out here, man. You gotta have thick skin and like a. But look, one of the things too, like that I know that's different between the West and the South, is that in the South they got a lot of a lot of rules and regulations. You guys really don't deal with that that much. Well, it, it, believe it or not, it, it is rules and regulation. Okay. But it's rules and regulations to the to the stronger cats, homie. They okay. they don't out in LA. It's very territorial, man. You okay. just can't pop up with clubs out here. Yeah. You can, but they don't feel you as a threat. They ain't gonna say nothing. But they feel a, they feel threatened because, like I say, like the choppers been around for fifty years, and then we started getting more chapters. And some of the other clubs, they want to know, hey, why y'all moving around now? Why you didn't move around 50 years ago? Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, you got to explain that to them. Because, you know, whatever they got going on, yeah. they might like, shit, he might come over here and, and, and put up a, a fucking bike shop next to my shit. Now I got competition. Uh-huh. And they going to like, nah, homie, you can't come here. So, and he's speaking of that, too, because even, even like with Rare Breed and with Choppers, Y'all got individual members that own their own bike shops. Oh yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. So how does that competition flow, or or does it even matter? You just you just take your bike to who you want to take it. To. Nah, man, it's all about the wallet, homie. Yeah, yeah it's, it's real. If you if you really want to get technical, if you got the bread, you're gonna go you're gonna go to the best, homie. Right okay. now, Punch is the top of his game right now. Okay. And, and you know they got some other cats that look as good as Punch. Not taking away, yeah. but. You like, hey man, I can. I want my bike to look like this, but I can't afford to do that. I got you. You know what I mean? But if shit, if your pocket is right in your sack, nigga, you gonna go to the man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and it just it's friendly competition. That's okay. why a lot of cats out here be like, uh, they tell you, hey man, you know, send this shit to punch shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm not that techni- I'm not on that level yet. You know what I mean? Well, one of the things too, like for me, man, I love to come home and I love to visit you guys, man, all my OGs, all my partners, and for me. It, it, for me, it's different. I guess because being born and raised here, you know, we know here that your word is all you got. Yeah. You, you feel what I'm saying? And when a, when you tell a brother something, you have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, on, 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 that's on any level, good or bad. If I tell you, if you do this, I'm a bush on your head, and you do it, I got a bush. I got a, I got a bush on your head because if not, then somebody gonna bust me in my head because yeah, I'm an I don't I don't fraud it. But on on a positive note. Um, how is that with the set right now? Is, 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 is the set managing itself or is the set going astray? It's kind of managing itself, but then again, it's, it's, it's almost burning itself out, homie. Okay. Because, you know, it's clubs out here, every year you got to reinvent yourself, homie. Okay. You can't, some clubs, you can go on tradition. You can be, some clubs been doing it the same way for 50 years. Okay. You know what I mean? But sometimes people get tired of that. Hey, man, bring something new to here, man. Yeah. Try to, you know, be honest, back in the day, man, we was shit. You, I trip off a OG van from the chopper, rest in peace. 
he was one of the cleanest brothers out here. I mean, yeah. back in his era, you yeah. know. Van told me all the time, he said, man, I, be, I was the cleaning, and sometimes I had to get some motor oil to just rub on my shit, <laughs> to fit in with everybody. Then he said, sometimes you got to do that. Yeah. And people be, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Take a look at Van. And that attracted people to us, Dirk. I okay. wanted to see a different shit. So every year, man, you got to you go bigger and better every year, man. It's, it's almost co- good, friendly competition. I'm out. Right. I got to do the brother. I got to do sale. You okay. know what I mean? Choppers, where does Choppers come from? Man, you know what, to be honest, it's been around for, for a long time. And I seen them when I was a kid. Okay. OG Talk, Tug, them cats, uh, matter of fact, Goof and Grand Theft Auto, uh, Franklin. It's, it's Pop, one of the original members from the Choppers. What you mean, Grand Theft Auto? Do you ever play a game, uh, Franklin, that's okay. on the actual game? He was a Chopper. Oh, is that right? Yeah, he was a Chopper, and he had to he had to pull away from the club to go do the game shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, But it's Pop's been a Chopper. For like the longest, and I've been in the club almost a couple of years, so I'm still learning. Yeah. You know, every I had once a week, I had to go over there and sit down, uh, Mr. Chopper on them, and go over some history. It just, it wouldn't have no just the get name in. Chopper. What is the name Chopper? Talking? Chopper back in the day used to chop up all kind of shit, bikes, people, work. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So whatever, that's what it was. Chop it. Yeah, yeah chop. We're going to chop it up. Chop it up. We're going to chop up something. Get this bread it can up. be you, me. <laughs> shit out. <laughs> hey, man. My man off the chain, man. So Chopper's been around now with how long? It's going 50 years, 50, 50 plus years, 50 man. Plus years. Yeah, man. Cause now, a lot of them dudes, man, was original slaw friends and all them back in the day. Slaw boys. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, that's a whole nother story. story. Yeah. <laughs> but they, 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 they turned into a bike club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, they've been around just as long as a few, a uh, couple years after maybe the, the drag. You know, drag has been around since the late sixties. Yeah, um, but I mean, a lot of people didn't even know that. I think um, um, the DOs is older than the dragon, right? Well, they're about the same time. I know the, from my from my, I know I'm could be wrong. Don't yeah. quote me. I, all I know when I came out here, the dragon's been around here for a long. Time. Okay, now, I could be wrong. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but I think the DOs. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, somebody can tell me. But I think the the, the DOs are older than the child. I mean, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. DOs are older than the dragon. But he probably is. I would see that right there. So That's LA, so LA got what about four or five, fifty year old clubs? Yeah, at least. At least four or five, man. At least four or five, and and some of the OGs still hang out, hang yeah. out, participating, and some of them still on the highway. You yeah. know what I mean? We lost a couple this year, like Rick Eddie from the Dragons. You know, he was he, I mean, he was another pro. He was another yonder cat. Okay, him and Phil Baker. It was some. There was some other yonder yonder dudes, man. They've been doing it way longer than we even thought about most of them. So with, with the with the LA gang banging and then you, you you know you got that that culture and then you got the motorcycle culture that exists within yeah. the, the the gang banging culture. How does it all work? Man, you know something to be honest, when I first got on I was a rare breed back in the day. Okay. And I gave the bottle with the that for ten years. I gave okay. it ten years with car. But the rare breed was like they were trying to go out here and save us. It wasn't about no Man, get some. Hey, let get this dude off the street. I don't want this dude in my living room robbing me. I'm gonna okay. show him a whole nother life. Oh no. So, but by that you had, I mean, walk from everybody. I mean, everybody in one circle. And every, it was just a bunch of love, man. It's a bunch of laughs, a bunch of talking, yeah. a bunch of and a, a bunch of, and and if you tried to attack that circle, honey, you might get it from everywhere. Honey. It would it, it wouldn't it wouldn't safe. Yeah. But it, the, the camaraderie and the brotherhood. And man, it just it just went. Cause you got because what I'm telling you, what I noticed about the West Coast is you got major hitters from different neighborhoods yeah. all getting along oh, for the motorcycle yeah, man, you for know, the sake of the motorcycle. Because sometimes you get older, man, you got to change, homie. You yeah. really, you can't really you can't really push that line no more. You got to separate yourself from yeah. the bullshit. Because if you don't, man, the, the people gonna separate you for you. Okay. They're gonna say, hey, don't worry about it. We'll take care of you the next fifty years. Yeah. You know what I mean? We give you toothbrush, soap, yeah, all, all that, that shit. You know what I mean? 50. For the fifty, yeah. you're gonna, you gonna do all that too. <laughs> no. You're going to do all of it. Okay. Man, the old has been around since 58 or 59. Okay. That's what Switchman said. Okay. Switchman, low ride Switchman. Low ride Switchman. Hey, what you doing on this site, man? What you supposed to be on Crenshaw? Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> That's my partner, though. Switchman, what's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my partner. Mr. Original back I met, I met Mr. Switchman through my man Neil from over oh, there at the right? phone. You know my man Neil that got the phone shop? Uh-uh. He used to be on uh, Western and Manchester. Now he off of uh, Hey, Florida, man, Norman. I don't know how true this is. They told me Switchman was the first cat. We're going to try to 
drive a low rider all from LA all the way to Vegas. I hey, Swiss, <laughs> is that what it is, Swiss? I, I heard he almost made it. From LA all the way to Vegas? He did that? I don't know, but I heard he almost, I heard, I heard he almost made it. You tipped all the way to Vegas on a Swiss? <laughs> chop, chop. What's <laughs> up, homie? So anyway, man, I just wanted to bring y'all that, man. Spend some time with my man. We got some more stuff tonight we're going to be doing at the clubhouse. Six o'clock, I'll be in the building. But again, I just want to thank you for the love that you've been showing oh, me. Oh yeah, man, man it's, it's different. What, what, do you, man. what do you think about the radio show? And oh man, you know I love it because everybody—it's a lot of cats, man, that want to get into the money and don't know. Yeah. And, and a lot of cats I ain't gonna tell them. So I tell them, to, hey man, log into the show, see what's going on. Yeah. I mean, you know, this might be for you, or this might not be for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's either one or. So, and and by you telling them, they, some cats get scared. I don't do that. But some, hey man, I'm but looking for. We need you to get out the way anyway. Yeah, I'm the one yeah. you don't want around. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, yeah. you get stuck with them, boy, you can forget about it. Okay, now, last year was your first big ride. Oh, yeah, your first big yacht. Man, let me you did you it something. by yourself. I did it by myself. Took your time. Took my time. And what did you, what, what, what did it do? Did it make you a break? It made me, man, because <laughs> it was like you got your cherry pop. <laughs> and as you rolling, I mean, at one point in time, man, I just cut the radio off. Oh, I ride with my radio off. I just yeah. cut the radio off and just listen to the wind and watch the sun come up and watch it set. Mm. I said, okay, that's what they yonder about, that's what, man. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's about. Chase the wind, man. Chase the wind and, 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 and keep the sun at your back. Oh, so what, was it, what did you learn from that? I learned, man, that... I hear responsibility, man. You your own man. You can't wait on nobody. Yeah. It was about ten of us headed out there, and at two o'clock in the morning, I was the only one at the gas station. All the time. I called everybody phone. <laughs> nobody. You ain't taking my name. <laughs> everybody. So it's either one thing, either postpone the trip or keep it pushing. So I kept it pushing, man. Love it. Honey. Oh Thank man, that was, it was cool. So now let me ask you this: being a biker, as long, well, being in the set, being on the bike, being a biker as long as you've been. And never taking that much of a journey and taking it now, how do you feel about it? Man, that? I feel like I, now I can get in the conversation and talk shit. <laughs> I, 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 now I can get in. Now I can tell them. I went past Arizona and Oakland. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> man, on Arizona, well, I hope and I hope till I, I went exit past it. Yeah. And Park my, I said, this is the farthest I've been on my motorcycle since yeah. I had it. it is. Yeah. But now I get to get in the silly cell talking <laughs> shit. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you all know what uh, 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 what you call them look like in the middle of the night. Yeah, man, mean, all like, kind of stuff. Like my boy Phil Baker, he, he passed out garage garage ponder patches. Yeah. They your garage ponder patches. <laughs> I said I won't be needing this. So how important is riding though? How important? I mean, because a lot of people argue with me like, so everybody ain't got to ride their motorcycle. You can't be people. Yeah, as long as you bring it back. <laughs> uh, <I'm trying. laughs> all right, man. No, I, I'll be looking for you. <laughs> I'll be waiting. All right, me too. Yeah, so a lot of people always say, uh, say I'm forcing people to ride in motorcycles. But now, you know what? Hey, you got to pay for that shit too. You just dropped it on your check. <laughs> but look. Uh, Big Punchy on. What up, Punch? What up, Kenfo? Man, it's, it's, it's different from the South. And out here, homie, the... You either gonna do it or they're gonna talk bad about you. You okay. got to accept it. But it's all in fun, homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before I went, I'm punching them. Hey, Dirk, when you gonna get you some young? Yeah. I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> you wouldn't say that? I wouldn't say shit. I just tell you, look like, yeah, all right, yeah. I'm, yeah. All right. You, but I knew it was it was part of getting your chair. I got it. Yeah. So now I said, yeah, nigga, I got my, my shit. I'm gonna cross country yeah. by myself. Where you wanna go? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Where, you, where we live? <laughs> <laughs> but you, it's like, you can't force nobody, but you can't be in that circle neither, though. Yeah. You, you can't. You got to separate yourself from that circle. You know, you're going to be a, 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 a biker or a bike owner. You know what I'm saying? So, anybody coming into the motorcycle set, what, what's the best advice you would give them? Hey, man, ride your bike for about a couple of years, too. Just don't jump in the night. See what's going on. You like it. Visit, you visit the set. Just visit, visit the, the set. set. You got yeah. partners Court the set. Yeah, just yeah, court the set. And yeah. see what's happening. Yeah. And it might, you be like, nah, this ain't for me. You yeah. know what I mean? There's a lot of cats out there riding. They buy it, homie, but ain't in no club. You yeah. know what I mean? But they in that category they can talk shit. Yeah. They in that they in that in, in that top ten. Hey, I can talk shit, I ain't no club, but I've been across. Yeah. The ones that ain't been across doing, you gonna be the butt of everybody jokes. Out here. Yeah. Out here. Not just out here though. Yeah. But not, like the South is different. I heard you can anoint yourself in the South to be a motorcycle ride. Right? Hey. Just by having a bike. Say man. <laughs> just don't break it around me, man. Man. He said, what up, Cell? Dirt, what's up, Cell? This shit, this is still my little brother. They were molded that way. That boy. Oh, he said you molded. 
Oh, they said they molded you to be this. Man, lady. you know, I'm gonna I, I say this, and I'm gonna say that though. The, where I got in the club, man, once he, he gave me a, a list of shit. Yeah. Man, you gotta follow all this shit. <laughs> If you get off of this, yeah. nigga, you gonna get DP. <laughs> and you know what, man? I broke every little thing on that roof. <laughs> I, you know, and it, it's so crazy. I, I was in Oakland. What up with it, my cousin Blue rolling hard? Hey, look, with? I stayed in. It's, man, because this story just got. I'm, I'm finna set the record straight. Yeah, okay, you finna set it straight? I stayed in Oakland for about two weeks. And okay. at this point, I was staying with somebody for two weeks out there. Okay. When punching them got down there, I was cool where I was at. Hey, nigga, you need to find us. <laughs> so I packed my stuff up and I left. But as I left, and I ate up everything in the house. Everything yeah. I ate up. And the old girl came home, and her kids there. She said, Mama, and then she called at work and said, Mama, we home. We just stuff I made last night. They said, It's gone. We just pull out some lunch before. She said, That's gone too. <laughs> he said, What dirt rock? He said, He gone too. <laughs> Man, she got off from work, homie. We stopped at Home Depot, yeah. got her axe handle, headed straight to the dragons. Oh, About man. that time, punchy car, look here, check this out. I got 50 bucks on this EBT card. Dirt, give me $50. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't finna beat up my club, bro. <laughs> hey, buddy. So, what, you were just hungry? Or you just... Hey, man, I eat a pudding stone, homie. Yeah. I, was, I made myself at home. So, I was there. But That's when I got, when they got there, they said, where you at? I said, man, I'm living a life. Who you need to find us? <laughs> I, 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 I said I gotta go. <laughs> but man, it was we had time. We had good times like yeah. that, man. You know what I mean? But I want to tell everybody too. When you out there getting on the ride your motorcycle, man, you make memories that can yeah. never be, never be forgotten, man. I'm talking about yeah. memories that will never, ever, ever be out trumped. That oh, will never be done. Man. They never be forgotten, man. And you know something, man? The thing about it, once you get in, you find your niche, man, and you find a way to be the best at it, homie. Okay. Just don't get in here and get a bike and just and like one dude said, uh, uh, I get in the club. This dude was the softest dude in the in the in the neighborhood. Now he the president. Yeah. It might have been something in that dude to take this chapter the, to the, the next yeah, level. Yeah, the bike might have been. You know what what I mean? Yeah, the might have been. Yeah. yeah, he might have been soft, but he. I mean, all the dudes that's been head of. Big clubs, man, ain't been no gang members or no gangsters or no outlaws or yeah. 1%. They, they brought the business side to this shit. Okay. But got to keep the shit gutter, too, though. Yeah. I mean, can't be white collar out here. You know what I mean? So, you know, that shit like that, man, you, you learn a lot. I learned a lot from my niggas, from Big Punch on them niggas. I learned a whole bunch. He said, Dirt and Ticket Man were the first niggas to have ever been to AZ. They were the ones that started everyone to go to the AZ. The Rare Breed and Second to None. When when no uh when nobody else, just us two clubs. Mm. Man, you wouldn't know some crazy shit about that. Me and Tick was going. Man, me and Tick, we wanted to walk with two people. We got the <laughs> yeah, easy. We wanted to walk. Think it was a, it was a bottle of beer. It said, the Red Breeze wanted to walk. It, it was just bread. It had a a bar. It was just yeah. the Soul Brothers and me and Tick. It was Man, that was it. That was and it was back in 0405. Yeah. So when we came back to the club and tried to tell him, I ain't doing this shit. Yeah. Punch is out of hey nigga, we going. Somebody said punch. Man, ain't nothing in AZ. He said, I know, but I tell you, we're going to be in AZ next year. Us. Oh. <laughs> and and y'all been, been, been there ever since. Ever since. And, and then bread we, been growing and growing and growing. Oh, man. But you know what? Bread had a vision, homie. Yeah. Bread had a vision. At that time we was going, he wasn't even president. Yeah. He was a member, but he rode his bike everywhere. Yeah. And he said, man, I need y'all to come fuck with us. I said, man, you know what? I'm going to take it back to the club, man. Uh, and and, and punch you. Push the, push the envelope on me. Yeah. Because, it, man, like I said, we was going back and forth to Oakland, but Punch pushed it like, hey, man, goddamn, man, these are our little brothers. They say it's cracking. Let's go. Yeah. So it was about 15 of us went the following year, like an old five. And we was the only cast down there with no, it wasn't even a dance. It was just hanging out. And it turned into something beautiful a, a, whole, a whole time later. You know what I mean? Damn it, man. Well, that's it, man. That's my man, Dirt Chopper Dirt, man. We've been here. Hope y'all learned something from this. Hey, I'll be at your, uh, hey, I'll be at your dance this year, man. Wherever I'll be there. You'll be there this year yeah. on the ground. On now, the ground. This is what I just told him. He said he gonna show up to Chicago on the ground, and I told him if he do, he's gonna ride back home with a black eye. Nigga, you better not ride your motorcycle. Hey, Chirac, like you, hey, Chirac, like you, I'm like coming. You ride your motorcycle, and I'm gonna come back with a black eye yeah, too. Yeah, you better I got not ride your motorcycle. <laughs> like you ride your motorcycle, man. Hey, man, I'll be there, man. I'm, I'm, I, I talked to Big Man. He already took the time off from work. I'm going. But well, there it is, there, man. We love you. I love you. I appreciate yeah, the love. Yeah, man, no problem, brother. And uh, we're going to get us something to eat, man. And uh, we're just going to continue this later on. 6 o'clock, Choppers Clubhouse, man. We're going to be in the building. Let's talk about it, man. We want to show the whole world 
how we getting down, how we functioning, and how we making this thing work, man. It's your boy, Big Sell FH Choice, and I see my man, Dirt Choppers. You I'll let you me anything before you go? Oh, no, that's it, man. God bless and stay cool. And there it is there, man. <laughs> I'm on my bike and I'm cruising. Yeah, I'm on my bike and I'm cruising. Yeah. Got these girls choosing. <laughs>